What's going on guys, Jonathan here with TLD, got a vlog style video and there's a reason why, which I'll get to in a minute, rocking the Bulls hats, being hopeful uh, that the NBA 2011-2012 lockout will finally come to an end because if there is no basketball, I might be too depressed to make videos. Anyways, the point of this video actually is experiment that I put together, uh, the Canon ELPH 300HS, <gasps> take a deep breath because I know it's a long title, but the $200 point and shoot has become kind of the vlogging camera of YouTube for 200 bucks. 1080p video recording, amazing quality for the price. That's what I'm shooting on right now. The problem is, I know once Solder Knows Best reviewed it, it's kind of spread like wildfire. David DeFranco picked one up for every G5. Uh, but the problem was, is the audio was lacking. So that was one of the negatives about the camera was the audio was so-so. So I started thinking, how could I put together a fix for this? Obviously, there's no hot shoe or anything to mount on the camera. There's no audio input, so you can't use an external mic. Uh, so I figured with the Zoom H1, I looked and kind of put together a little mini rig uh, to kind of set this up. So I'm using this right now. It's kind of switchable. You can use hands. There's a little camera handle on the bottom of this thing. So that was about $6.95, I think, on B&H Photo. That's mounted on the top of that is actually a flash bracket. So that's holding everything together. So the Canon actually mounts on there. And then to the left of that, to my left, you can see there is a little hot shoe adapter. It has a hot shoe mount. And that's where the uh, Zoom H1 is mounted on via a quarter inch uh, threaded adapter. The whole cost together was about 30 bucks for the rig. Handle again was about seven bucks. The uh, flash bracket was about nine bucks, I believe. Uh, and the little mount uh, for the hot shoe to zoom was about 12 bucks on Amazon. So I'll post links to all those down below. Now an added benefit to this alongside the improved audio, which is gonna be an extra step because you have to sync it post-production. With that, with the handle, it should actually help stabilize it. So let's uh, go ahead and walk around, swing it. Hopefully I'm not making you guys dizzy. So I'm walking forward. I'll probably try to splice in some shots of me just holding the camera free-handedly not using the uh, handle, however you want to call it. And I'll have a comparison of the audio. So this is the Canon's audio, built in, not so good. Now, snap of the finger, this is the Zoom H1, which is about maybe a foot and a half away from me. So hopefully it sounds better. We got a little bit of wind going on. I got a little pop wind filter on the Zoom H1, so hopefully that's helping as well. Uh, and maybe you can hear that on the Canon when I did the test. So other than that, if you guys like this, again, I'll post a uh, kind of recap of all the products, parts that I used in the description down below, kind of with some details on a guide. Again, it was only about 30 bucks to put this together. Another benefit is this will actually mount onto your tripod sans the handle, obviously. So you don't necessarily have to use this outside, but I thought it would be cool to be kind of like an ultimate vloggers kind of setup to improve the audio. So again, feel free to subscribe. If you guys like this video, thumbs up, share it. There's a click to tweet button down below, and I'll see you guys later.